Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So you may have seen one of my videos where I showed you guys how to decode some of these low power devices that transmit on 433 megahertz. Well, I showed you how to install it, get it working on Ubuntu, uh, which is a Linux version and also a pre-compiled executable for Windows 10. However, I did have a question on how we can get this working on the Mac for OS X. So today I'm going to go through what we need to do to get it working on Mac. Now the first thing that we need to make sure that we have installed is something called Mac Ports. Mac Ports is a package which allows you to go ahead and download other packages in a very easy way. So if you haven't got Mac Ports installed, just go to the macports.org website and you can select the package for your operating system. They have some pre-compiled packages for High Sierra, Sierra and El Capitan. You can also install Mac Ports from source so if you don't want to go through compiling it yourself, you can download the pre-compiled packages. Now, once that's installed and working, we are now ready to go ahead and start installing the dependencies that we're going to need to run RTL433. So the first thing you want to do after making sure you've got Mac ports installed is open up a terminal window on your Mac. Okay, so we now have a terminal window open on my Mac. We now need to go through some commands uh, to install some dependencies before we can actually install the RTL433 application. So the first thing that we need to do is actually get RTL SDR installed. This is the software package which will communicate or the drivers which will communicate to your RTL SDR device um, so that RTL433 can use it. So let's just go through a few things first. So the first command that we're going to do is make sure that we've got CMake installed. So we can do this by typing sudo port install CMake. Put in your password. Okay, now mine's going to actually do this quite quickly because mine's already installed on, on this system. So when you do it, it may come up with a whole load of information on the screen while it's installing. You only move on to the next command when you see the command prompt there. As you can see, it says Matthews Mac Mini Desktop Matthew Millers. So once you're there, you can move on to the next command. And the next one is to install libusb. So for this, we do sudo port install libusb. That's quite quick for me as well because I've already got it installed. Next one we need is a package config. So type in sudo port install pkg config. And it's very quick for me as again, because I have it already installed. One last thing that we need to do is we need to do sudo port install socks, S-O-X mine's already installed okay so the next thing that we actually need to do is we need to git clone the rtl sdr from github so the way that we do that is we do this git clone git git osmocon.org rtl blah 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 i'll leave all this down in the description below and as you can see there it's downloaded it pretty quick however we still need to compile it so what we do now we do cd rtl dash sdr we then make a directory called build. So we type mkdir build. We now need to change directory into the build folder. We now need to run the cmake command. So cmake space dot dot forward slash. And this is where it starts the compiling section. You would have seen a lot of that already in the previous commands that we've done. Now we need to run the make command. And now we need to run the sudo make install. So sudo make install. Okay, so we're now ready to test to make sure that the Mac can see the uh, RTL device. So for that, well, I'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in. Okay, so for this, I'm using a new Alex Smarty SDR receiver. And to test that it's connected and the computer can see it, we're going to type in RTL underscore test 
dash T. And there you go, that's great. It can see it rather well. Okay, so at this point I would say as, as long as you've got to this point and the software can see your actual RTL dongle that's plugged into your USB port, that's great. Um, if you haven't, then just go back over all the steps that I've mentioned before go through all the different commands down below and if you have an issue leave a comment down in the description okay so we're now ready to move on to rtl433 and get that working or get it installed compiled etc so i'm going to unplug my rtl sdr so that's now unplugged and i'm just going to clear the screen i'm going to go see what directory we're in i'm going to go back to desktop by typing cd dot dot and there we go so i'm now in my desktop okay so we're now ready to download and install rtl 433 so the way that we do that is we use a command called git clone and i'll leave the um, links down below on how to do this okay so that's downloaded it from github we're now going to cd or change directory into rtl underscore 433 we're going to create a directory called build so mk mkdir build we're going to go into the build using cd so cd stands for change directory now once we're in here we can run the cmake command so cmake space dot dot forward slash now once that's done we can run the make command So now we can go ahead and install it and we do this by typing sudo make install. Okay, so now it's installed, we're ready to launch the application. So make sure you've got your RTL SDR receiver plugged into your computer, plugged into your Mac via the USB connection and that you've got an antenna connected as well. And we're gonna type in RTL underscore 433 dash capital G. And this is where it should start working. So we can see here that it's connected to the device. It's set the frequency to 433.920 megahertz. And let's just sit back and wait for some data to come through. First thing up is a weather station. And there we go, we have some more weather stations there that are coming through. Um, some of these I haven't actually seen before. You can tell by the uh, station ID. Now a question that I got asked before was, what about if you wanna change the frequency that it actually listens to? Well, it's actually quite easy. What you can do is type in RTL underscore 433 F and then the frequency. So if I wanted to change the frequency to 433.990, and then you do 000, I believe, uh, dash G, and that's set that to 433.990 megahertz. So you can adjust the frequency to suit your needs or suit the frequency where you're gonna find some activity in your area. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of more interesting and cool radio related videos in the pipeline. And until the next video guys, you take care and we'll see you in the next one.